Welcome everybody to AMF East Meadow. It is Sunday, May 1st. We hope you had a great weekend. I know we did here as the LIGBT had a wonderful new concept event called the Dual Challenge Tournament. We are watching the finals of the second tournament. It's called the Bracket Challenge and these are the final four remaining bowlers. Let's meet them. First up, Mr. Lou Barbero from North Belmore, New York. And next to him, Mr. Eddie Yang from Flushing, New York. Next to him, Mr. Pak Wong, who was on last week's video as a champion. Uh, and he's from the Bronx, New York. And last but not least, from North Babylon, Mr. David Senkata. All right, bowlers, shake hands, and let's get this match rolling. All right, we are down. We are down to the final four. First prize today, 725, third four, second is 400, third 300, fourth 200. Can you reset? How do you reset 13? All right, we got it. All right, bowlers, let's go over the handicaps. Eddie Yang is getting the most 52 pins. Damon Sikana is next with 38 pins. Next is Pac Mon with 33. And last, and getting up on the right lane, Lou Barbera with 31 pins. And amazingly, all four of these bowlers are seniors, 50 and over. So the seniors dominated today. And we want to give Storm a special thanks as our title sponsor. And here we go. Lou Barbera, 10 in the pit. They're bowing on the house shot, so we're going to see some good scores. Here comes Eddie Yang. Eddie looking into the pocket. Oh, leaving a soft 10 pit. All right, David Sincata up on the right. Now, bowlers bowling in this final match had to win four rounds of matches to get to the final shootout. All right, David, looking start strong. Oh, stone nine pin, he's not happy. And Eddie Yang. Oh, we've got a missed 10 pin, just barely missed it. So that's our first open of the match. Let's see if David can convert this nine pin. Alright, Davidson kind of making that spare to start his game. Alright, Pat Wong, who is our defending champion from? last week from Hero Lanes and he gets the nine out. So nice start for Pack striking. So Eddie Yang won with the most pins and handicap. Immediately loses 10 pins by opening. Eddie Yang on the right. 58 years old. He's got three LIGBT titles. Here comes Eduardo, 10 in the pit. Nice recovery, Eddie. Eddie's been a, Eddie's been a member since 2009. So he's been a member for, for over 10 years. Here comes Lou, looking for a double. He likes it, 10 in the pit for Louie. So Louie's starting the game nicely with a double. Louis bowling well all day. Louis a high school teacher. 63 years young. Has one LIGBT title. He averages 175 in our house shot tournaments. Alright, here comes Pac. Trying for a second consecutive title. Ten in the pit. Pac-Man gets the double. Hanging out with Lou. Oh, playing tonight. On ESPN. Yeah. Nah, they don't lose two in a row. That was sure to okay. All right. Davidson Carter should have a double. Listen. We'll go. 
Eduardo, that gets the 10 pin out, and he doubles, so making a nice comeback after that first frame miss 10 pin, and these bowlers are on a roll. What's he doing now? All right, Dave sent out a 10 in the pit, that's a double for David. Should have been a triple. Left a tough nine pin. Back long. Looking for his triple to stay with Lou by the bed. Back long working for the post office. Here it comes. Back going high. Ooh, gets a break, leaving just a six pin. Back, 58, 55 years old, been a member since 2012, so he's had his 10-year anniversary with the MIT All right, we'll take a look at the scores after Pack makes this spam. And he's all over it. Well done, Pack, and that finishes frame number three. You can see Eddie open with a double, and then comes back with a double. Louie, three in a row. Pack Wong, double and nine. And Dave got a spare and a double. So it's close going into frame number four. All right, and Yang on the right lane. All right, fourth frame, Eddie looking for a triple. Gets the three bagger. Well done, Eduardo. Special thanks to everybody that participated in this new tournament concept, the Dual Challenge. Had some great feedback today, so we look forward to running it again. All right, Lou, this one he tugs a little, but it holds 10 in the pit for number four. Lou is serious. All right, David said Connor on the left. He's 51 years young. He's the youngest in this group. David working over at Strike 10 via par. A nice 16 lane bowling center. All right, David looking for a triple. He likes it. 10 in the pit. These bowlers love these patterns. <laughs> Back one, leaving the two, four, five. So that's gonna cost some three pins in wood as he was on a spare. Back has five LIGBG titles, including one last week at Harrow Lane. That was on a sports shot, so Pack, very versatile bowler. Can be competitive on both sports shots and house shots. All right, Pack. Rolling it wide and making that spare. Well done, Pat. And that finishes up frame number four. We're hitting frame number five. LIGBT's off next weekend because of Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all our moms out there. And we return for a very special two-day event. LIGBT Championship, Saturday, May 14th, over here at East Meadow. That's a singles doubles. And then the next day, Sunday, May 15th, Eddie Yang with four in a row, putting ten in the pit. And then on Sunday is the team tournament, four-person team. <laughs> Oh, they have another. Yeah. All right, here's Louie looking for his fifth consecutive strike. This one goes a little wider. Ten in the pit. He's got a little room out there. He likes it. Louie likes it. And back to that LIGB Team Championship on the 14th and 15th here at East Meadow. Anybody that bowls in all three events, we're gonna pay one in 10. We'll earn a storm ball. 
Oh, oh stone nine pin for Pack. One in ten based on their nine game total. Will win a storm bowling ball. That's one in ten. So 15 balls will be given out if we get 150 individual bowlers. Okay, David going high, leaving the six pin. That's a break. Pack one makes the spare nicely in his fifth frame. Entry fee on that LIGBT championship is only $65 for the singles, $65 for the doubles, and the team is $80 per bowl. So check out our website at LIGBTour.com for more information. All right, David makes the spare nicely done. Now the LIGBT, at the end of this month, Memorial Day weekend, we're doing an inflation buster. Tournament only $65, 2,000 for first. There's a scratch division, 49 and under handicap division, and senior division, 50 and over. Great tournament, five squads over two days, May 27th and 29th over at AMF Garden City. Louis looking for number six. Oh, he kicks the 10 out for six in a row. Good start for Louis. Eddie Yang looking for a five timer. Ten in the pit. He's telling Lou he's not giving up yet. <laughs> Become superstar. All right, Davidson caught a ball in a great game. Started with a spare, triple, and another spare. He's put every ball in the box. The last one went hard. All right, David going late. Leaving the bucket to two, four, five, eight. That's going to cost them four pins and wood since he was on a spare. All right, Pack Wong. Ooh, a 10 pin. So Pack, after starting with a double, cannot get that strike. That's his fourth non strike frame in a row. And on a house shot, that's tough. All right, David, nice spare for David, well done. David has one LIGBT title, so all four bowlers in the shootout is a current LIGBT title holder. That's nice. Nice spare for Pac Wong. Let's take a look after six frames, you can see. Lou is perfect for the front six. Eddie Yang right behind him, nine spit, miss. Five in a row, but don't forget, Eddie's getting a lot more handicap. Uh, David Sencato in third, and Pac Wong trailing the pack right now after six frames. All right, back to the action. We are starting frame number seven to Eddie Yang on the left. Here comes Eddie. Going high. Oh, leaving the 4 9. Nice crowd watching the action here. Yeah? All right, Louie, number seven. No, and that's a nice string, though. Front six. Leaves a 10 pin. Well done, Louie. Looking for his spare ball. All right, Eddie. Does he like it? Does he like it? Oh, nice try, Eddie. So that is good. If Lou makes this spare, that's going to give him a lead now over Eddie Yang. So Lou took him seven perfect frames, but he jumps Eddie Yang now. So he's got, Lou's got a 13 pin lead over Eddie Yang after seven frames. All right, Pac Wong now on the left, working off a spare. Come on, Pac Man. Oh! He gets the 10 pin down. Nicely done. So he's got a strike in the seventh. All right, 
David off the spare. Let's see how he does. Light again. Knocks out the five. Leaves just the four. David makes a nice cover. So, we are heading into frame number eight. 15 pin lead for Lou Barbaro over second place bowler Eddie Yang. Right behind him is uh, David Sincata. A pack one can jump David with a double. All right, eight frame. Here we go, Lou, looking to get back on the strike trail. And there it is, 10 in the pit. Louie looks professional today! Alright, Eddie. He's trying to stay 13 pins behind. No! He's got a 7 count. David needs to start striking here and still go ball. Very fine score. All right, that one looks pretty good. Ten pin the pit. What a shot for a key shot for David to keep his title hopes alive. Right, he's trailing Lou by 28 pins, but anything can happen. Eduardo making that spare. Well done. Amazing how tight this match is. Eddie's open frame in the seventh frame took him from the lead and could possibly be down to fourth place. So it's a tight finish here. Another LIGBT shootout. Alright, here comes back. Rip in the rack. Cannot get the stubborn seven down. So if David strikes, he jumps Pac Wong. Pac will be 10 pins behind Eddie Yang. And Pac all over that seven. Well done. Foundation frame, nine frame, Eddie. Trailing the lead by 13, but Lou's got a strike so he can increase it. Eddie, 10 in the pit in the ninth frame. Well done, Ed. Double here for Lou. Keep his title hopes going. Oh, he knocks that 10 pin down last. But that's a big double going at a 279 scratch pace. All right, David Sincano also on a strike. Needs a double here. Pretty good. Ten in the pit. David throws it great when he needs it. All right, so. All right, Pac Wong, ninth frame. Ten in the pit. All four bowlers, when they need it, got the strikes. Let's take a look. As we go into the tent, you can see Lou Barbera controls his own destiny. But you can see how tight it is. With Eddie Ang, Dave Sincana, and Pat Wong all within a few pins of each other. So grab your seatbelt and let's watch the final run. All right, Eddie Ang, here he goes. 10 frame. Goes high, knocks out the seven, leaving just the six ten. up the tie.
title. Lou Barbera, that's our Bracket Challenge Champion. Eddie Yang making the nice spare. So he's going to finish with a wonderful in the 260s. So he could either finish second or third. Luigi does it again! Yeah, put every ball in Yeah. Eduardo leaving the seven pin, finishing up with a 214 scratch, 266 handicap. Great bowling, Eddie. Now that could continue to see the second or third, depending on how Sincata does. Oh, what a great ratch! 278 bowlers. There's your champion, Lou Barbera. Well done, Lou. Here comes Pac Wong. Ten in the pit for Pac-Man. I know. Needs a hit to finish in second. Ten in the pit. David knows how to bowl under pressure. That is awesome. Ten in the pit for the Pac-Man again. He's going to bowl in the 220s, 250s with his handicap. What beautiful scoring by these four bowlers today. It's been a long day. These guys are bowling their ninth game of the day, and you would not show the wear and tear on these four senior bowlers. Well done and congratulations, all four. David does it again. He thinks he's Lou Barbera. He's got more hair. You also got him by 13 years. <laughs> All right, so second place is going to David Sincata. Pac Wan's going to finish in third. That'll be worth 300. No, so excuse me. Nice finish for, for Dave Sincata. 244 scratch, 282 with his handicap. All right, and Eddie Ang, he came in uh, third for 300. Fourth. All right, let's take a look at the final results. You could see Lou Barbera, 278 scratch, 309 handicap, takes first place, $750. Second place with a very fine 282, 244 scratch, Dave Sencata worth 400, 425, I should say. Third place, Eddie Yang worth 300 for 266. And last but not least, Pakwang, 257, earns $200. Thank you everybody for joining us. Don't forget to visit your pro shop and buy Storm products. Good night everybody and happy Mother's Day.